Hello and welcome to the Dietrich Gamecast. I'm Jeremy, uh, here with the second installment of my MLB The Show 20 solo fantasy draft franchise. Uh, this is the Tampa Bay Rays here. You can see Clayton Kershaw, my ace, ready for spring training. But before we get into the uh, the games, let's take a quick look at my roster here. Starting pitchers, we got Kershaw, Ryu, Price, Paxton, Darvish. I'm going to call him Darvish up. I was thinking he'd be my uh, long man in the bullpen, but... I guess that's what spring training is for. We'll get a little bit of competition between him and Maeda. What's this sorted by, anyway? Not sorted by overall. It's a good question. I guess I'll find out later on. Uh, in terms of minor leaguers, I have Felix Pena. Not bad. Good depth. Let's look at the bullpen. we got Baez, May, Brebia, Chafin, Perez. This is, you know, this is not a bad bullpen, honestly. Anthony Bass. Uh, so I guess he's... He, is he still considered a long man? I guess not really. He used to start. Sean Do Doolittle, closing. Not much closing depth. Catcher, we've got Yasmany Grandal. Austin Burns is the backup. Anthony Rizzo. Oh, we got G-Man Choi. I was thinking he'd be up as sort of a DH option. Who do they have up instead? Maybe they just have an extra pitcher up. That's probably Anthony Bass. Um, well, anyway, it's spring training, so let's just have them both up. So I don't normally have the chance to do this in our sort of uh, two-man series, which have a uh, faster pace, but maybe I'll try and put together a little uh, spring training lineup with some younger guys. Let's see. Billy Hamilton should be up. So what are we at now? 29 on the roster. Let's bring Eric Thames up. That's exciting. He's definitely shown flashes throughout his career. Uh, Jared Dyson, too. Yeah. I think I, I drafted him. Put him on the 40, man. Uh, I saw some comments on the first episode. If people haven't seen it, I thought I'd just put him on there. If people haven't seen it, go check out the uh, fantasy draft episode. I've got a full 40, man. But yeah, I saw the comments. Uh, a lot of nice comments. Thank you. It means a lot. Uh, you know, we're all sort of isolating here, so it's always nice to hear from people. Glad that they're enjoying the videos. Uh, who am I going to take off my 40, man? That's the big question. Forest Wall. That's a great name. But he's not very good. Low potential. And something about his eyes is unsettling me. That's why I'm removing him for the 40 man. Okay, let's call up Dyson. Hopefully Dyson doesn't suck here. He's got to be on the 40 man. It's probably what real GMs go through. Try to add somebody to the 40 man. Takes them five tries. Oh no, Forest Wall. Okay, that's probably no, no. Let's we got his Drupal Cabrera. Bring him up. Man, my team's old. I gotta cut another guy from the 40 man. I'm sure everybody who's done these modes understands uh, this feeling. There's always a little bit of maintenance that needs to go on. There's Cabrera. Need to add him to the 40 man. I'm gonna get the hang of this eventually. Don't worry. Okay, second base, not a whole lot of depth. I guess I'll probably leave Hoijin Park in the AAA camp. Should I have? I should probably have more catchers. Let's call it Ben Rortvedt. Hopefully he doesn't make the team so I don't have to say his name. Uh, Ryan Dull. That's, that's thrilling. Let's call him up. And Tyler Lyons, too. I'm just giving everybody a shot. I don't want to add him to the 40 man though. Never mind, I'm not giving everyone a shot. Dallas Keiko. And let's see Felix Pena. Okay, that's probably good. What's unlockables? New. I guess I can set sponsors. 10 grand per double play. Okay, that's pretty good. And 3,500 per run. I don't even know if I really have the budget stuff on. But I guess I do. I don't remember turning it off. Lineup. Story is the DH. I'm not sure. Well, 
versus righties, no, he's not the right guy for that position. I'd write even... Uh, Peralta's pretty slow, though. Do I have a fast guy who can lead off against the righties? Who's on the bench? I've got some good guys on the bench. I was expecting to like my team more than this, looking at the lineup. Hmm. Hmm. Chris Davis, look at that power. I guess the story is probably the best option. Even though he's not great against righties, at least he has the speed. Yeah. And who's my DH in the scenario? Chris Davis, that makes sense. Can't field very well anymore. But I was kind of hoping Blackman would be the DH, because he doesn't really field that well either. Now let's, let's run with what they've got here. You can at least give it a couple games, see how it goes. Let's take a look at the rotation. So yeah, we do have Darvish as the long man in the pen. Doolittle as the closer. This is looking pretty solid. I'm liking my pitching corpse more than uh, than my lineup. I don't know. Something about my lineup I'm not really liking. Contract extensions, I think we'll leave that for, for a hot minute. And let's see. Let's do a little bit of simulation. Whoa. Okay, I want to see my games. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Oh, it's a loss. It's a loss for Kershaw. 4 2. Let's check out the box score. Um, so they are getting guys in like a, like a spring training game. Not the, the same uh, amount, but some. Blackman 2 for 2. That's a good game. Uh, yeah, pretty sparse across the board. Home run for Chris Davis. Two caught stealing, Cabrera and Naquin. Let's sim a couple more here, and then we'll look at maybe making changes. Okay, we did pick up a win there. Win for Paxton. Tough outing for Ryu. I don't know why he's going four innings in his first outing in spring training, but I'll have to take that up with the staff. Okay, how are these guys doing so far? 182. See, that's, not, that's kind of what I was worried about. He's not hitting well enough to really justify his placement in the lineup. Do I dare roof? Oh, Cano is so slow now. If it was Cano from a couple of years ago, it would be perfect. But Sadly, we don't have the legends in, if he would be one. I'm tempted to put Hamilton in the lineup. Then I could DH Blackman. Hmm. But Davis had a home run that one time, and he's hitting 500. Can't really justify that, I guess. Well, first, versus lefty's story is uh, totally adequate. Actually, my lineup is significantly better against lefties. I'm moving Seeger above Donaldson. That makes more sense. He's got better contact against lefties. Same story with Grandal. They All three of them have the same power. 80, 80, 80. Fascinating. We got Rizzo, Cano, Naquin. Man, I want to get Billy Hamilton in the lineup. You know, if you'd asked me a few years ago... Uh, Billy Hamilton's rating in this game. I wouldn't have said 74. That's a bit of a disappointment. Let's sim a few more games. Get through the rest of our rotation. Okay, I saw some red. Okay, we did get a win 11 2. Wow. Roughed up the Yankees. Good outing for Price. Kershaw running a 9 ERA. Though, I have to say, a lot of times strong pitchers will have bad spring trainings and then be fine. Ryu, another tough outing as well. we'll. Do this Minnesota game. Did they have Ryu go twice in a row? What happened there? Or maybe he came out in relief? It's a bit odd. He's only got eight innings. He must have come out in relief in that other game. Okay, how are these guys doing now? Story's balanced out a bit to a 250. I know there's more advanced stats I could be looking at. Like my favorite OPS. Actually, can you see that stuff here? Maybe you can't. Well, that's too bad. You should be able to see the spring training stats. I'm sure there's a screen where you can get your whole team, but it's a lot more difficult. Statistics, player statistics. Yeah, here we go. Okay, who's been holding down the fort? OPS wise. Actually, let's just go all the way and see if there's war. 
Yeah, here we go. No, that's not the right button. Okay, here we go. Josh Donaldson and Trevor Story leading my team in war. Donaldson in only 22 innings. That's pretty impressive. Really want to see who's been struggling, though. G-Man Choi. Oh, so a lot of bench guys. Rizzo, that's fairly disappointing, but... Fortunately, a little bit of a downward trajectory. Though he had a strong last year, actually. Oh, I guess I could have checked pitchers as well. Why not? What are you guys' feeling on war? It's sort of coming into uh, hockey now more. Sort of boiling things down to one advanced statistic. But it's definitely more established in baseball. You Darvish, Anthony Bass. Bass, I was a little bit down on him, but he's uh, kicking Bass. Got to amuse ourselves in these troubled times. Kershaw, Tim Hill. Come on, Tim Hill. Getting lots of strikeouts, but got to cut down. Whoa, Trevor May. He's a walk machine. All right, more games, more games, more games. Okay, let's just go through the whole this whole week here. And win. Okay, it's four and three run. That's not too bad. Oh, Brebia. David Price is having a good showing. Go back to the lineup. Story, he's cold. He shouldn't be cold. He's in Florida. I'm hesitant to make any changes, though, because I have so few good options for leadoff hitter. My only thing would be to bring Hamilton in, but he can't hit. Frustrating. Because I feel pretty solid about my team otherwise. It's just about finding the leadoff guy. Which is honestly the issue I had last year's series with Joseph. I should make a note of that. Um, oh, I checked the pitchers. I'm starting to get my sea legs with uh, franchise mode here. Review. There, his overall went up quite a bit. Some good performance. Kershaw and Paxton and Maeda all struggling. I could try Darvish instead of Maeda. But I, th I think it's a bit early for that. They're still getting still getting warmed up. Let's go through Saturday. Okay, scoring four runs a lot. That's exciting. Kershaw, that's a better outing. Maeda as well. Okay, starting to normalize except for Paxton. Paxton really struggling. Okay, story starting to pick it up again. David Peralta. There we go. Having a good showing. I'm not as hesitant to take Naquin out of the lineup. I actually might do that. Good contact against righties, but how's the fielding compare? Hamilton, slightly better fielder. Hmm. I don't know where I'd put Story, though. Put him with Donalds, where Donaldson is in the cleanup? I'm going to leave it for now. I don't want to do too much chopping and changing during spring training. Especially since I don't really see anybody uh, who wasn't in my plans making a big run at it. Yeah, like Hamilton, 0, and 0 for 16. I can't really call somebody up on that basis. Even Jared Dyson's had a better showing. Rorfett's only gotten three at-bats, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just send him down. Because that's not going to be good for his development. He can go back to uh, AAA where he will hopefully stay. Unless I have a big catcher injury. We're almost through spring training here. Pretty exciting. We're motoring. Uh, loss for Baez there. But then a win for Baez. Picked it up the next day. Well done. Paxson, that's a big improvement. And uh, Sean Doolittle. Must have gone down to the wire. Okay, spring training's done. 15 and 11. That's not too bad. Uh, that's not really an effective standing screen. Am I third, or is it just in a random order? Who knows? Anyway, 15 and 11, not too bad. So it's time to make some roster decisions. Okay. Starting pitchers. Has anybody made a case? How did... Pena do. Oh, do we not have the 
spring training statistics showing now. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, I'll go look at the statistics. Pitchers. I find war the easiest thing to sort by. It's not that I'm using it uh, as the only basis for my decisions. It's just that it sort of gives you a decent order of how people are doing. OK. So yeah, these are all sort of guys that I felt like were going to be on the team. Ryan Dull. Didn't even pitch. I guess I could have been more active on that one. None of these guys pitched. Well, you know what they say. You don't get an opportunity. Head to AAA. Keuchel as well. And that's my six, right? And then Ryan Dull didn't get an opportunity. Nobody was interested in uh, sending him out there during spring training. Too bad for him. We got Chafin, Baez, Perez, May. Tough outing for Berebia. Hopefully you can pick it up a bit. And tough for Chaz Rowe as well. Actually, Chaz Rowe might be getting sent down. Honestly, on those numbers, that overall, 33 years old. Tough to justify keeping him around. Sorry, Chaz. Sean Doolittle, cold. Though, you know, nothing glaringly wrong with his statistics. Randall cold again. Not a big issue with the statistics. Barnes definitely uh, held out Rortved for his uh, for the backup job. There's also Choi's one of the guys in the bubble. Hit 280. Uh, no home runs though. Only the one run. Interesting. Definitely didn't embarrass himself out there. Uh, Cabrera, another guy in the bubble. Nah, no. Let's see, I'm not seeing anything particularly exceptional there. His OPS has been pretty decent, though. Uh, I guess he'd be sort of competing for Iglesias' job. And he did a better job than Iglesias. The only question is fielding. And he, there's a pretty significant fielding advantage for Iglesias. 19. Hmm. I did say I was going to go all fielding here. And he does have a higher overall. And he's younger. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm debating this. Uh-oh. Optional waivers. All right, it's optional. Not that I'd probably be too choked about losing him, but, you know, you never want to lose anything. Chris Davis definitely plays way on the team. Wasn't too much doubt about that. Billy Hamilton. That's a disaster, honestly. But he was a big part of my plans. Dyson did well. He's definitely played himself into the conversation. Eric Thames, i got to send him down to AAA. Okay, so we got to make four more cuts here. I'm not seeing that many cuts from position players, so I must have too many pitchers up. Anything? Sometimes you'll find a guy up in the MLB who's got like a 50 or something, but I've been pretty diligent here. I definitely want Darvish up, so I want those six guys up, no question. So then I've got too many bullpen guys. Because I've got Darvish, Chafin, Baez, Perez, May, Brebia, Bass, Hill. And Doolittle, that's nine. Ideally, I'd want to run with seven. So that's Tim Hill. Yeah, that's a high whip. Bass might have played himself on the team. It might be Brebbia and Hill going down. Uh, definitely Brebbia didn't play very well. Let's send him down. And then I think Tim Hill's got to go down as well. Yeah, Because it's not a bad ERA, but look at the walk count and look at the whip. Nah. Can't make an argument for him. Okay, so we've done that, and now we need to make two more cuts. Okay, so what are our options? Choi is on the block here. I guess Seeker? I want to keep Seeker, though. Though I guess maybe he's redundant with Iglesias. But he's got more of a bat, particularly against lefties. I don't think I can justify keeping Billy Hamilton up. More cut, so it's Dyson, or it's Choi, or it's Seeker. Hmm. 
Choi plays first and left. I don't think it's Seer. It's Choi or it's Dyson. I think it's Dyson, honestly. I can use him as a pinch runner. Really strong fielder. And I don't know how much utility I'm really going to get out of Choi, because I have Davis for sort of DH stuff. I'm sending down G-Man Choi. All right, that's my 25-man uh, roster. I got too many people in AAA now. See ya, Tobias. OK, great. You can have 26 people in AAA now. Fascinating. Maybe that'll change when it comes out of spring training. OK, regular season. I think. Uh, Next episode, which should be in a few days, I'll uh, start up the regular season. I think I'll do a game. Feels wrong not to do at least one game to start, so uh, stay tuned for that. Should be, I don't know, Tuesday, Wednesday-ish. I was also thinking about I got the new Animal Crossing. Maybe I'll do a quick video of that. And if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the Dietrich Gamecast so you don't miss uh, my solo videos as they come out while we're uh, waiting for things to go back to normal here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you next time.